Hey, good morning everyone, or good afternoon, or wherever you are, I guess. Um, anyway, um, I just wanted to make another video of uh, I'm driving around a little bit so I can kind of show you what the uh, uh, courtside area looks like in the, the LTVAs here. Um, so go ahead and stay tuned. Um, getting ready to head into town right now over my lunch and uh, go run some errands, so I'm going to video a little bit of the drive into town and uh, show you kind of the LTVAs, the long-term visitor areas, um, and uh, what everything looks like. Um, all right, so stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, it's getting out of here. I try to... <laughs> I thought I put it in drive and then the neutral is right next to the drive. It scared me for a second there because it didn't move when I put my foot on the gas. And then I, really, I just took it back out, put it back in and then it was fine. So I was, before the drive shaft was repaired, I was so used to this thing kicking um, when you go to put it in the drive side. No, but it's it's really smooth now. It doesn't, um, it doesn't kick anymore. So it's a good thing. It's just... Not something that I'm used to on this thing. Okie doke. Hopefully that video is okay. <sighs> it's nice and warm this morning. Well, at least the sun on the window feels warm. I don't, he's standing out there. It's a little bit of wind. So, this is that campsite we just pulled away from. This is the LTBAs, as I mentioned. Um, there's lots of people camping around from, you know, minivans to cars to, uh, you know, slightly bigger minivans to, you know, cargo vans and other kind of conversions and everything all the way up from that to, you know, Class B's like what I have, Class C's, A's, everything. And school buses too. Um, so. And we're all living unplugged, off the grid. Um, you know, just with our solar. Um, and uh, whatever water supplies we pick up in town. And some people have bathrooms, some people don't, you know, I do, I, I'm a stickler for my, my showers and my toilet and maybe that'll change in the future and I'll do the whole, you know, dry toilet, I'm gonna call it, um, but, uh, yeah, everybody's just doing their own thing and we're all creating little camps and creating communities of people and, uh, all with the, the same goal of, you know, living off the grid and in our, in our, in our vehicles, RVs and all that stuff, and, uh, saving a bunch of money, too, except on gas. <clears throat> gas sucks. Um, it's not the, well, I mean, you know, it's not the worst here. I guess it's, the last time I was in, it may have gone up or gone down, the last time I was in town, it was $3.99. passed through like Mesa and Phoenix it was like 460 something so it dropped here but from what I'm hearing 20 miles west which is Blythe California it's like six bucks a gallon um, and then when I left Texas I think it was like 299 or 289 or something like that um, so uh, the, the weather here During the day, it's relatively warm. Later in the day, it starts to cool off a little bit. But it's the wind that gets you. Um, but at night, it can drop a little ways. I mean, I don't think it was as cold last night as the night before. But it, you know, got down to the 40s, which is better than 26 or the teens. Even though I'm hearing that may be coming overnight. Um, but uh, it's not bad. It's like warm during the day, and as long as you have a heat source. Can stay pretty cozy and warm at night. Um, you know, not 
nothing that's going to freeze your pipes or anything like that. Uh, it's, it's cold for a short amount of time and then it warms back up again. Um, anyway, not sure how much you guys are seeing, but yeah, we're quite spread out out here. Um, some people, as I said, in their little groups and some like to be a little more further out from each other and that's okay. Um, you can have the best of both worlds out here. You can uh, hang out when you want to and then get away from people when you don't. Um, so it's a hundred and I'm gonna butcher the price. 175, 180 bucks. That covers you for until like well pretty much now um, I think they started a couple of months ago but I think until April or May is when they're saying it covers you for um, and uh, you get you, there's no 14 day limit uh, there is pit toilets out here the, the, the dirt gravel roads are pretty well maintained um, the Availability to get water. Uh, there is a dump station. Uh, the only thing there isn't out here is power, but that's okay. It's a very sunny place, and uh, there's definitely been no shortage. Uh, even on a cloudy day, I'm doing okay. Um, you know, and as you know, and I forgot to turn it on now, but as you know, when I drive, or maybe you didn't, I have a what's called the DC to DC charge converter, and that will charge my my house batteries, um, which by the way, I ordered a second battery, um, so that should be, I'm excited for that, it's actually going to get here tomorrow according to FedEx, which is pretty impressive being out here, so I'll go pick that up in town, um, I'm going to make a video to try to answer everybody's questions, and I'm sure there's a million different videos out there that answer the same thing, but I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible, and some of it, you know, it's a little you know, outdated. I just want to, you know, make a little update for, like, what is valid in 2022. Um, you know, things like mail and supplies and, um, yeah, anything else you would usually need, um, that you maybe don't have access to in the desert. Um, anyway, we're coming up towards the exit. Trying to get a little better at not making my videos too long as well. You guys, I know it can get a little bit too too long. It also takes me a really long time to up upload. Anyway, this is the exit right here. So I will see you guys um, when I get into town. We'll take a little drive down the main street here. All right. Okay, so we're just arriving into town here. Um, it's literally 1.1 miles away from, well, I think, I mean, I'll have to double check that, but it's about 1.1 miles away from um, the LTBA, is the start of the right there, so it's pretty close to town. Uh, but yeah, if you're interested in LTBAs, uh, there's a bunch of them. If you, uh, oh, focus there. if you look them up online, um, just, you know, Quartzsite, Arizona, LTVA, um, and that should um, bring you to the website that shows you all the different ones you can go to and the different options for staying, because you don't have to do the whole season. You can do like 40 bucks for two weeks, get the same access to the beaches, or you can Still trying to get my bearings around here. We're gonna take a right. Um, I have to return a package, so I'm gonna go to a place that you can do that at. It's called Quiet Times. Um, I believe you can, I know you can get packages delivered there. So I think you can, uh, I think I can return them there too. I guess we're about to find out. But yeah, this is the, this is the main street. Uh, yeah, we'll, 
go down a little further and then we'll come back. Um, lots of RVs. Lots of every kind of RV. Solar places here. That's where I got the solar installed in town. Um, I went to Bill's Solar. There's another one called Discount. I think they did me pretty well considering where we are. Um, most of the stuff is back behind me, but there is a Family Dollar over to my left here. There's a Dollar General, and there's like a couple of local grocery stores. Not the best prices, but in convenience. There's a Walmart in a place called Parker that's like 40 something miles away. And then you can cross into Blythe, California and there's like a, there's like a grocery store out there too. Anyway. We get flipped around and I'll come right back to you guys. Okay, so I got turned around. I mean, other than a few gas stations at the end, that was pretty much the end. This place is not very big. And I'll show you when I drop it, after I drop into quiet times here, like, go in the other direction, how long this street is, because, yeah, it's not, it's not huge here. Um, the longer I stay here, though, we'll make some more videos, you know, kind of showcasing what's, what, what, what it's got to offer, essentially. Yep, gas is still $3.99. Diesel, oh, $5.19, yeah, pretty high. Here's one of the grocery stores I talked about off to my right hand side here. It's called the Roadrunner Market. There's laundry places in town too, there's places to take showers, I and mean, now I'll help uh, fill you guys in on all that stuff. Okay, well, just got done with that. Took a little bit longer than I thought, but that's okay. They took really good care of me in there. It only cost me three bucks, and that included the box and them handling it and everything and packing it up and putting like material around it to protect it. Anyway, I try to back out of here. This is gonna be fun. Oh my gosh, the one thing I hate about this is trying to back out of anything. And this thing beeps when you put it in reverse, and people still just don't even give you the space to get out. So we're crossing over the light, that's where we come in from before. And a couple of RV parks in town here, of course we're not staying at any of those. There's uh, these tents that they do seasonally with different like, vendors and stuff as well. Very RV friendly and set up for that. I just wouldn't want to be here in the summer because it gets a little too hot. Um, okay, so on this side, we got about a billion RV parks and RV places. There is a hardware store up here. To my left, there is a Dollar General, you know, like a get everything, like sort of grocery store kind of place. Um, and we got a bunch of gas stations, like truck stops too. So there's a Pilot, and there's uh, some food places.
places like McDonald's and Burger King, Carl's Jr. And then I think there's a couple of local restaurants and I think that's about it. Um, what was going on there? I'm so a cop. Flashing lights. Semi truck stuck in the middle of the road. Oops. run a few more errands but I just wanted to show you like the main the main street I guess <sighs> and then I gotta return back to work this afternoon much the end of the little main street here. That's it, that's Quadside. Alright guys, so that's pretty much all I got for this video for now. I just wanted to bring you guys into town with me, give you a little tour around. I had a few more errands to run, I won't take you with me on that. Um, wish you guys have better things to do with your day than follow me around, but I thought a tour would be good and kind of show you where the LTVAs are and what they look like and what the town of Quartzsite looks like. Uh, there'll be more videos to come, kind of filling in like where you go for certain things, to do certain things as I mentioned. Um, but yeah, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for so much for following me. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. And uh, see you in the next one. Alright, peace out.